All right, back to Phoenix. And this time, not with the right set, but with not a terrible set. Um, OSR doesn't have any sets up for this week for Xfinity, so... Uh, just gonna deal with using an older set. Not too big of a deal. I think we got away with it here once before, so... We will just do the best we can, and... Uh, Hopefully it is much better than that truck race that we're going to redo this weekend. So, just one racing video coming out today. This afternoon there's going to be a stats video that I go through. My last season stats, sort of, and then go through career stats. So, something that if you don't know how to do that on the website, it will uh, show you how to do that and take a look at the people that I've finished second to the most and a bunch of other stuff, but it doesn't look like we're going to be finishing second in this one. Um, 16 car out of 27. Kind of uh, same as the truck race, so temp is we got 92 track temp, but 66 degrees out. Not too uh, worried about, like, the temps I know that they continually build at this track for some reason. So, I think I could probably add a bit more tape, but we're not going to worry about it too much. The car inside. Clear. It's looking at a different place to go on exit of Pit Road. Wasn't paying attention. Still there. I'm going to guess that this is going to be a wreck fest, uh, just seeing some of the names that are in here. I feel like there's a lot of aggressive people that don't know how to finish mid-pack, so they'll either wreck or get up front. And then, uh, since we have a setup under us that isn't the fixed setup, maybe can take advantage of people wrecking out. A little loose there. So paint scheme's about the same as uh, what it was the last time we ran this car, but I took the sides other than the contingencies and the race lab and thrust masters and just made that all matte because there was some weird blending issues that I didn't like. And then the light decals are not matte. Makes it look a lot better when those are reflecting. Makes the matte finish stand out a lot better. Let's just go do some laps. And uh, get a feel for the track. Start in the back. We've got probably a hundred laps, I assume. But they're showing us the black flag. You didn't exit the pit safely. But feel we this thing out and out. make sure it hasn't changed too much since practice, because practice was kind of overcast and maybe a little colder. Okay. I don't think it's going to get any looser, but it was stepping out on me there a few corners that I did that practice session there, so, or the warm-up, so, just want to make sure we don't have a problem that I'm not ready for. Stepping out just a little bit there. Got all the gas early, in there deep, 27-3. Now, I know a lot of people were running in the high side in the trucks through 1 and 2. Haven't been able to get that feel for the track here. They still haven't fixed that stupid LOD of the sticker changing at the end of straight away. At least I'm going to be far enough back that there's always going to be a car in front of us, so I don't have to see that. 
but I will show you what I'm talking about because little stuff like that really annoys me. So, see that black and yellow sticker right there? Watch it, it's gonna move. Boom. Stuff like that just drives me insane. Uh, it's meaningless to the overall bit of the game, and I guess it's black and white, not black and yellow. You've got the officials upset with your slow driving. You better get on with it. If not, we risk not being allowed to post a qualifying time. So it looks like Logan is a viewer. He is the number 24. I believe that the 24 truck last night was a viewer as well. I hope we don't end up having the same results as last night. But yeah, you can see really well as we drove slowly down there how it looks like the stickers are a shiny bit. They're not, hopefully they're not chromed over. That looked a bit too shiny there. Let me double check. Nope, they're fine. So they look like they're, you know, glossy plastic stickers on a matte finish. That's what I wanted to go for there. Uh, the Race Labs is also supposed to look like that, but not really coming across that way at the angle of light. Uh, maybe if we go back this way. But then you can see the back end and the headlights and grill are also that way. Just little things that I think make look the matte finish make the matte finish look better. So 27.3 would have put us dead last, but also no tape. So uh, we could end up being dead last again. Heater just turned on. I'm going to go turn that off. It's gotten cold out the last two days. Luckily, all the snow went south of us. Had my yearly review for work today, so got told how great I am. And uh, got a free lunch. But, uh, yeah, just ready for the weekend. Watched a bit of F1 testing. Mercedes side pods are ridiculous. Um, kind of looks like a 117 stealth fighter. Just the way that it droops down. Or it kind of looks like an iron with the uh, floor attached to it. It's just a weird, weird concept. It'll be interesting to see if they decide it's legal. But let's refresh paints. Load mine up. And wait for everyone else's paint to load up and we'll get on there. So 100 laps. We are starting 21st. But yeah, this is a 2001 season one setup, so it's a year old, but I don't think anything's really changed with the package, so I'm not too concerned by it. Um, especially here. We're just going to try to stay out of trouble early. And then I hope that we're not falling off in five laps like we were in the trucks. seconds and we're gonna get three sets of tires we can go about 70 to 80 there laps on a tank additional sets of tires during this race have a good race after 10 laps in practice I had 95 percent on both right sides so 
Although you can make up some time by pitting it halfway at 50. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what it is playing out like. I doubt we get a full green run. But definitely at lap 20, we will be coming in if there's a yellow. And most likely, if there's any yellows before that, we'll be coming in and getting fuel just to get a little extra range on it. Thankfully, we're in cars that don't completely kill my frame rates. Might have to start dropping some graphics, which I really don't want to do, but... as bad as the next gen and trucks are now. Alright, we're going. Kind of at a bad spot for us. Because we can't really accelerate all the way through there. Everyone behind is chilling. The guy hanging on our outside. Another guy self-spinning. And a caution. Luckily, he didn't bounce off the wall. Alright, well, we're going to go in and top off. Not that it's going to do us any good. But get us to the back. Give us something to do. Hitboxing, 10. Get me used to these calls as well. Five, three, two, one. Right here. Yeah, that is so off. It's like, it's not adjusting for move it, move it. the pit speed, I think. They probably designed it at like 55 miles an hour. They want you in single file. Catch up, 27 car. Alright, well, we have a half a gallon more than everyone else now. If that. Catch up, 26 car. Not going back in this time because you'll have to speed up to catch up to the field so that you don't get too far behind because the field's going to compress as we get the one to go since we're going one to go. double file. Line up on the inside. Catch up 20. Car. And then it's all just a waste if you have to accelerate to catch up because you're not one minute. You can save point six, more three, five. Catch just by going 20, slow out car. here in a fourth gear. Get ready, going green. So, we're gonna give this another go and see how far the we get. Car is in. Not gonna 
cut down there. It's kind of making the car really loose over the transition and uh, making it slide the rears a bit. I don't want to deal with that. Not at the moment. We don't need to try to get every tenth out of it. Just doing laps. We're not really saving tires, but also not driving the hell out of it. right now. So we need to do a little better saving here because I am not quick at all, so we need to be quick later. It's looking like this is going to end up just like the truck race. Just not, not feeling quick. Everyone's just all of a sudden in the run, speeding up, and we are going absolutely nowhere. No idea what the 17's doing. Stay low. Team is extremely the slow the there. Clear high. But then gets a run off. slowing down or went into save mode. 
I just feel like I've got to go because I felt like we were losing a lot of ground there. It does seem like we're kind of catching back up to this mid-pack. I guess it's not really mid-pack, but the rear of the pack. Front is gone. The tent that further up seems to be checked out. I can't see him. Unless I'm doing a bad job of counting ahead. Biggest thing I think is don't overdrive three. Get it to rotate in. Don't fight it too much on the exit. Then we should be okay. One and two. Try moving up a little bit. Help our exit. I mean, we're not that far off our quickest lap, but our quickest lap isn't all that great. We have checked out from everyone behind, so we'll be able to fall in line here now that we've caught the pack and just pass the people that are really dropping off at the end of it and, and catch up and then do the same each time someone starts to get too tight and drops off. But no need to try to charge our way up through the field at the moment. We got 62 laps of fuel. We are on lap 21. Everyone's kind of getting bottled up behind the nine. a bit all over right now. Could be because of his 8-bit logos on the back of his car. Not sure I've ever seen their logo look that chopped up. inside and past the 20. Car is getting a little free on the right rear, but clear that. Can back it down a bit again. All right, had to get that pass done. And it only gets us into 20th. But I feel like the 9 is just really dropping off and the 20 is not good enough to make the pass quickly. And he throws it into the corner and slides up and self-spins as the 12 self-spins. And we got a caution. All right, tires, fuel, and we can go to the end of the race. Not too bad. Car feels good. As I pushed it there off that corner to get the drive underneath both of them, really heated up the right rear, kind of made it a little loose, but felt like it was something we can easily manage. Oh, 
don't know why uh, everyone's choosing to not catch the field, but interesting choice. Okay, guys stopping for the head speed limit. Five miles ahead. The pit box team, 10. Hopefully he pits Five, before us. Otherwise, I'm going to get three, myself spun out. Two, one, right here. Okay. Tires, 9193. All clear, punch it. So we should be able to make it on fuel now. And we could, should easily be able to make it on tires. Uh, but I assume we'll get another caution at like lap 50. People were kind of appearing to get loose and uh, have issues, but now we're not going to be behind a lot of those slower people, so we should be able to not have to make up as much. There's some people that have got penalties. That puts us into, like, the top 15. But we'll have two fast people trying to work their way through the field back there. So, when they get here, we'll let them go. Not mean to go under there. He slowed down a ton. So we'll have to get around the nine again. But that should be fairly easy, as bad as he fell off. And they're wrecking behind. And caution. They want you in single file. Pete Road is closed right now. Doing good. Keep it up. Get up nine. Car. Road is now open. Alright, so we're going to lose some spots on this restart because we're going to be starting 14th. So we'll be trapped up on the top. But I feel like the 9 car is going to end up wrecking. I mean, the guy was so far off pace on the long run. Yeah, he's trying to get a bunch at the start of a run, and, uh, yeah, I think there's going to be some bad decisions made. Hopefully we're not caught up in it. The deep road is closed. At least we don't have anyone to lap down, so we're getting some quick cautions here. people on pit road. It only looked like one guy half spun there, so not sure what they're all doing on pit road. I gotta remember as well that I'm the number 16, so this is right about where we're supposed to be. 
but I think if we get a long run, we're going to be able to get a top 10. S seemed like that whole pack was falling off green. while we Line were on the not really even trying too hard, so... We'll see, though. One stupid move could uh, ruin our race. And we got the nine car, a pay to wreck, and a Red Bull all right around us, so... About to go green, stay focused. Very well, only have a couple of minutes left in this video. Post car is off, time to do your job. now I think unless we got passed by two people Pit roads open Yep on the inside now And Catch Logan is up here in 16th in the 24th idea what's going on at the back of the pack, though. So we're definitely good on fuel. This rate, we could do a race and a half with the fuel that we're using. I'll probably keep throwing full fuel in it, though, just not to screw up the balance and get it too tight. Pit road is closed. But hopefully we can uh, start to race again, because this whole go eight wide into a corner and then be under caution, not very much fun. At least we're on the inside now, though. We're not trapped, and I didn't know if the 18 was going to hit the wall. We can dive all the way down to the bottom if we need to miss a wreck. Really need to get some runs though. One left to green. You'll be I would like on the inside. this race get not to be nine. two hours. Because I think the next gen race tomorrow night in NIS is five. going to. Five. One, two. It's going to be a long one, and I'm not too sure that the setup's going to be that great. But we're going to go in it with minimal practice and just hope. I think I've got it stable, so it's just try not to get caught up in others' messes and hearing a lot of people spinning out of two. But here we go one more time. Can we get a couple of laps in? Running into each other up ahead, they're all stacked up. Not worth getting in this mess. I was gonna block the bottom there because did not want to 
get put three wide. Just being patient. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Should be able to get a decent drive out now. And then I can go to the high side and let the five go because he was ahead of us to begin with. And then we're not going to get stuck three wide, and I can fall in behind him. Thankfully, he was patient with that because it looked like he was sinking three wide into uh, turn one on the apron, but luckily he didn't do that. I wasn't going to open that door up for him. But once we got single file, there was no reason for me to even try to hold him off. He was only back there from a pit road penalty. Now we can just kind of relax in this nice, safe hole. Everyone else is in traffic, and we're all by ourselves. Kinda either gotta commit all the way down there or stay on the track. Kinda half ass it across the uh, dog leg, it just shoots the car sideways. That is not what we need. Even though we're a little tight according to tire wear, uh, I don't need to get myself looser something stupid like that. Looks like the nine's already falling off. Contact into three. And they're still having contact. And that was a big crunch. Oh, paid a wreck wrecked. Well, that took a couple of people out of contention ahead of us. Now we're down to only two sets, and we have hardly done any laps, so I'm not pitting for tires here. So that's going to put you down to one set, with still more than half the race to go. I think most people are only pitting for damage. So I think we're going to be in top 10 when we cross the line here. Or next time around when people on pit road aren't ahead of us. Pit road is closed. Yep, that is 10th place there. Pat will put us on the outside. The two cars got a lot of damage, it looks like. Uh, so what I don't see in front of me is the pay-to-wreck, 
or the Red Bull. Now maybe Red Bull was uh, one of them that pit there. And then the 9, I think, got some damage. His front end looked like it was caved in. <coughs> Sorry. So, uh, yeah. That swarm of bad is gone for a moment. One left to green. Up on the outside. So now we just got to kind of watch out. The 12, we seem to be quicker than him. But I think he's firing off a little quicker than us. So if he gets around us, oh well. Um, we got the 24. There's a viewer who hasn't really... He's been about the same speed as us, but hasn't really pressured us into anything. And uh, then everyone that went in the pits is... About eight cars back, and we'll probably wreck a few people trying to get back up through here. So, because I just have no visibility down there. Five cars under us. Should be able to slip in behind him, in between him and the 12 out of the corner. And we do. Like, I didn't want to overdrive the corner because he was being patient with the 15 ahead of him. But I also didn't want to check up too hard on the 12. the 12 can get back under the 25. Looks like we're going to have to deal with the 25. He's got a ton of front-end damage. there. Okay, we're halfway to the finish. Just having to drive a little more aggressive right now in the spot we're in. You know, I don't really need to stay ahead of the 25 right now. And I feel like he's gonna plow us over into one if I start three. If I stay ahead of him for too long, so we'll just fall in between. Oh, there's the Red Bull, so I guess he pit for tires. I think the 12's being nice to us and not trying to force anything. And of course, the fucking red. Give him all the room in the world, and he still pushes up and runs into us. Unfortunately, the 12 has been really nice to me, and has just went backwards because of it. Right now we're in 14th, don't need to force anything, 
don't need to get near the 18. Him and the 9 will probably finish each other off. 19's coming through on new tires. He's already spun out once. Thought he was going to have a run, and then he just slid up the track there on exit. Looks like he wants the outside, so we'll give it to him. Just going backwards at the moment, but not much I can do. Okay, 19 has decided to make a pit stop into three. Alright, we'll try to fall in behind the A. Hopefully we're done losing spots. And we're done losing spots. Well, now we can come in and get tires. And we'll still have one set left. And all those people that pit last time are not going to be able to do anything. Um, I'm not going to take fuel. I am going to loosen it up just a bit because I'm not taking fuel. Yeah, either those guys are taking their last set of, of tires or didn't take a set on one of the stops before. There's no way they're taking the last set though. That would be so stupid. Forty to go. Right here. Tires ninety four ninety four. But we're past halfway, so it's stupid to hold on to them. Pit road penalty, so me backing him up when he got stuck behind us for those couple of laps. Turns out not to be the worst thing that happened to him so far. How many people we even got left in this? There are still 24 people on the lead lap, one person two laps down, and only two people out of the race. So yeah, we'll see a little lighter on fuel, loosen it up just a tiny bit because of that. Hopefully we don't go too far one way or the other. If anything, next caution, we'll just fill it up and put the changes back to 
where they were. I mean, right now we're running 14th. And I've been really conservative through this middle part of the race, just trying to get away from what looks to be race ending people. So, You're on the outside this time. I don't know, it's going to be interesting to see if uh, One minute if those people five, used up their five, last sets eight, of tires four. or not. But we will just uh, try to keep it clean still. Hopefully we go to the end. I feel like we are much quicker than most of these people that were around right now on a long run. And just not aggressive enough on the short run. Check up there. One getting loose off the corner. Out of this, I think. And fall in behind the 19 if possible. Wasn't sure if the six was going to dive it in there or not. Expecting that there, but thank you for that. Now we're in eleventh. Twenty-seven point six one seven. 
been a fun race. It's just such a frustrating track on restarts. And we've had one too many of those. space behind us to do so. A car is actually going fairly quick. He was hanging out in the back and I think he was hanging out in the back because it took us a while to get back to him. Um, Trying to get away from. Was, was it the 25 that had all the front end damage that was kind of scaring me on entry? But he now looks to be fairly off pace. So. Caution, yellow yeah, flag. Doesn't matter. Line up, single file. Closed, pit road is closed. Well, we've done about 10 laps. The pit road is now open. And if everyone else is coming in, That means that everyone else is going to be out of tires as well. Pit box team, 10. Can loosen it up just a bit more. Five, three, two, one. Right here. Kind of a waste of tires, but we were at 96, 97. And it's most likely going to be restart after restart okay, here, so. And with most of the field pitting, we were just going to get ran over. You are out of time. They want you in single file. So, we got what we got. The 8 car might be able to pit in like 10 laps, but it's going to have to go through the whole field. So, yeah, tires are quite a bit of speed, but to have to go through the entire field is just not going to work. So it looks like we got three people that stayed out. And for free to even have an advantage, we're going to have to go, what, like 10 laps? That's going to get us to 13 to go. And then you're going to be restarting 23rd. And only going to have 13 lap pressure tires. It's just... Yeah, when everyone came in, it was just... You had to... You had to pit. I get being still 25 laps out when the yellow comes out, but then you gotta think, we're gonna go around a few more times, and if everyone comes in, no one's coming in on the next one. So, it's just a, a tricky situation. But this isn't a place where you can just go three wide on the outside and pass like a 1.5. One to go, next time by. You're on the outside this time. So we're gonna restart 14th and uh catch up six car one minute five point. Hopefully five, stay alive. Five. The 18 got back ahead of us. The 12 is recovered. 
up to the row behind us. About to go green, stay focused. Post car is off. Now we got someone new up front, so the restart's gonna be in a whole different area. Gotta try to be able to see it without dropping down too far. He's going. 15 jumps to the outside for no reason. We're just going to have to be aggressive here. Well, I had to back off. He had no idea I was up there. And we got the 14 getting loose. And big mess. No idea if we're going to survive this. 14 still wrecking loose. Ooh, a little loose. Don't worry, Six. You were nice to me. I'm not going to throw it in on you. Well, that puts us into 10th. That was an exciting restart. Eight cars still up there in like third. I don't know how we cleared the inside row as good as we did. Especially with the 14 bobbling around on the high side. Got one in the wall back there, that's the 12. This guy's a lap down that's been rolling the bottom. Fastest lap of the race. Eight's doing a good job hanging on up there. It's been a hell of a race here at the end. Lots of exciting different strategies. Making uh, lane choice very interesting going into the corners. Luckily we got that run on the outside and that cleared us from the 25. Now we're into ninth. Go back to work on the six. Stay low. 
there is a car on the high side. Just about clear, but not kind of late. Late on turning down to keep him higher. Now those two can battle for a bit, and hopefully we can clear off from here. Eight cars on old tires. Maybe we can get around him. We got ten to go. That'll get us into seventh. I think everyone else is getting a little too tight. They didn't make the adjustments for low fuel, maybe. Because we definitely weren't very quick on a short run. And we've come alive. It gives us a spot easily. Try not to slide up. He's just going to get behind us. Shot the corner. We'll have some drive off, and that is seventh place. back just a tiny bit now trying to keep ahead of this car it's uh, been a fun race and we're finishing way ahead of where we're supposed to be we are putting in some good laps making some hard moves making the right decisions. So far, most people have raced us clean. And now we're into green-white checkers. So, the 8 and the 23 and all those guys can go get their tires, but they're going to start so far back on a green-white checker that I don't think you go in. Your tires have evened out with everyone else. He's holding his spot there. There's just absolutely no reason for him to go in and pit. Yeah, and that's what I figured. No one ahead of us had tires. Eight's gonna stay out, even the 23 staying out. No one is pitting, it looks like. So, let these tires cool off. One car is pitting, two cars are pitting. The 20 and the 26, nope, and the 27 has made it to pit road, but they were 19th, 21st, and 22nd, so. Not gonna be able to do a whole lot there. Three car, that was a lap car up there, so he is now one lap down or two laps down. But now it's cool, the tire's off. Hope we don't get wrecked here. Right now I'm com I'm comfortable saying we got a seventh place, even if we get wrecked. We did a really good job this race. I'm happy with my performance. I don't know how I didn't kill the six when he cut it down in the braking zone there. I locked those up, nose slid, nearly wrecked the 23. Um, yeah, that was a scary one. But, we got to be aggressive here, otherwise we're going to give up spots to 
people behind us being aggressive, so... Is closed right now. Just hope I can, uh... Get it to the end. This is made up for that truck race. Taking a uh, 2021 free set from OSR and uh, getting up here to seventh in a 4,100 strength of field. And we didn't really luck our way up here. Like that last run, we passed. We passed some people that were on bad strategy, but we also passed people that were on the same strategy as us. Logan is back there in 14th, so he's having a good run. But let's just hope the six doesn't throw a crazy move and maybe we can get around the 15. Hopefully we only got to do this once. Really hard to see the leader right now. I think once we get in the turn, we'll be fine. Green flag, green flag. Two left to go, two to go. All right, well, that was on me. He didn't come down, and I had to go. And then we just hit. Alright, well, there goes our 7th place finish. He just got a horrible start, and then I have no idea what happened after that. Like, we come down here, and then we're down there, and not far enough, and, I mean, that was just, I don't know what the hell happened there. Nothing I can do other than say sorry. Had to be aggressive, the six was getting a run, but, you know, we got I can't back off there on a green-white checkered, and then it just, like, smashes our, like, why are we jumping our front end there? But, oh well, we pay for it. Yeah. That sucks. Let's take a look at the wrecks. the 26 self spins on lap one and the 26 hits the wall on lap two six into the wall I just want to get out of the server. I don't want to 
and watch a bunch of people hit the wall. Alright, so... Get to see what the yellow was. Twelve self-spinning. Yeah, that's what that one was for. And then it starts the chain of events of wreck after wreck after wreck. 22 gets all crossed up. That causes all of this mess. And then the 19 gets spun there because there were three wide. Go into the next one. Three wide, four wide. And the 22 freaks out and gets the 26. Then we go to the next one. And the 11 just gets dumped by the 15. And then the 2 just drives straight into the 11 who was spinning at the time. And the 22 comes in. Oh, no, the 11 comes up and hits him. How'd the 26 get in that, did it? Oh, it prediction coded him. That was some pretty bad prediction code. Alright. 21 just darts into Logan. Caution, so let's go find out why. Twelve getting loose. No, what the hell caused the caution? Twenty-seven? No, the twenty-one stopping on track. Okay. So then we move on to seventy-five. And the eighteen turns down and hits the six, and then the six gets straightened out by the nineteen. And then, the lap 95 caution, which I could have not been fine not having the uh, 26 and the 22 decide to run into each other for the 20th time. These guys are popping up quite a bit. And that ruins my race because then I do this. I just don't understand what the nose bounce is here. Like, he got a bad start. We got a good start. I just needed to be more aggressive getting down under him. And then... it Like, this lifting my nose up off the ground, it should have got him loose. I should have been able to back out of it. Instead, it lifts my nose up, and I have no control over the car. But, oh well, that's... What happens when I try to get aggressive? I fuck it up. So, yeah. Yep. Sucks. Don't feel good about it. Had an awesome race. Only to walk away in the last seconds. Annoyed with myself. Let's take a look at results. 55i rating lost. 0 0.03 safety rating lost. And we finished 23rd. So. Yeah. 
Not good enough. Um, I just needed to go lower there. I mean, you can't back out of it in that situation. If I backed out of it, I would have been three wide in the middle and losing three or four spots. So I just needed to go lower. Um, yeah, so made some friends. I'm sure he was not happy about it. But, oh well. Hope you enjoyed the race. Thanks for watching.